This is Mari Elaine on the Buy and Space channel. Tonight, I can't sleep. Several weeks ago, actually, to be honest, I don't know when. It's been in the last month. There is a huge fight next door. When the woman was screaming to the top of her lungs, get out. I don't want you here anymore. I'm sick of you. All types of things like that. I heard the guy yell back a little bit. It went on for a couple hours and then it stopped. And then after, I don't know how long, they started yelling and screaming again. And then it stopped. And hours later, I heard the sound of what, what sounded like a Dremel tool. And I didn't even think about it at the time. I thought, okay, she's been frustrated with this guy. And, uh, I knew she was a creative person. So I thought she was just being artistic and making something. <clears throat> Next morning, I get up early. Even with all the commotion, I manage to sleep some and get still get up early. And there's a semi on the street. And uh, we live at a little dead end street. And there's not usually a semi on our street. So I open the door, and it's this huge Amazon truck, semi, 18 wheeler, on our street. He's unloading this huge box. Now, it wasn't, I don't know if the guy was uber strong, because he carried it on his shoulders. But I don't know, it was like, I can't really remember whether it's a rectangle. I think it was a rectangle. And it was like, five by five by three. The box size. This will be being delivered at 6.30 in the morning to the same address where the argument had been. And I didn't really think anything about that. And then I didn't really put all these pieces together until weeks later. I had uh, somebody visit that I hadn't seen in a while. And I was, he was asking me about the neighbors. And of course, I told him about the other neighbor that had shot up the street. That happened a year ago today. That was on Valentine's Day last year. That guy shot up the street. And I was telling him about what happened next door. And he just kind of looked at me. You know. Because he thought of it immediately. I've never seen that guy since then. Of course, she was telling him to leave. And they were very angry at each other. And he might have just left. And she might have just been being creative. And she might have been just ordering things to mail out, you know, what she was creative with. It's a lot of might have been. I just wonder. Is the guy still alive? Oh, and the neighbor that shot up the street last year? The authorities are allowing him to have his guns back 
on March 23rd. But those neighbors, they had the argument. They've left. The property owner came over today. He had to travel back from Germany to handle them moving out. And I told him what happened. And I told him what the guy said that um, I told everything to about what happened over there. So I said, well, maybe you want to look for if there's been any digging in your yard. I know it's all circumstantial. But the person I told all this to thought of it immediately. And at first, I didn't think anything of the events that had happened. But once I went back and pieced those together, but is that from my suspicious mind? Is that because I'm being paranoid because the other neighbor shot up the street last year? Or could something have really happened to that man? I'll probably never know. I hope he's alive and well and okay. And all these things said together make it seem like something. But since they've moved... I feel much better now that the original owner of the house has come back from Germany I feel much better I feel safer even though the uh, guy that shot up the neighborhood's getting his guns back maybe the what I was feeling was not because of that guy. It's because of the other neighbor. You know, my instinct is telling me I'm safer now. That Marty is safer now. I just, uh, have been listening to my instinct but maybe I was just interpreting what I was feeling was putting it in a different direction now is the situation with the neighbor getting his gun back guns back and him not being in his right mind because of his medication because his medical conditions yeah, that's still potentially dangerous, but it's more randomly dangerous. Like, the possibility exists. But I feel the people that moved away were a constant danger. I found out why the hedges were cut. And I didn't know, but there'd been a disagreement with the neighbor on the other side, who is uh, the daughter of a lady who befriended me for a while and then disappeared. But they got into it. But on this side, they cut the hedges. It's beautiful hedges that the owner had you know, taken meticulous care of for years. And they did it out of spite. And then they cut some trees on the other side. But I didn't know that any of this had gone on. The lady whose daughter lived on the in the house on the other side sold that house and moved away to get away from these people. I didn't know that. Till today, 
I didn't know till today that they'd spitefully attack the shrubbery uh, because of disagreements with that neighbor and out of spite towards the landlord. I um, didn't know a lot. And uh, now I know the story and they're gone. So I feel like I was protected from that knowledge and I was protected from these people. Although the weekend they moved, a dog was barking and I didn't hear a car pull up. That dog usually barks when there's somebody different in the neighborhood. It's a little dead in the street. So, you know, everybody kind of knows when there's somebody here that's not normally here, including the animals. I didn't hear a car when the dog was barking. Sometimes that dog is teased by a local cat. That cat's been gone. So I thought it was unusual he was barking. Hardy is awake. The middle of the night. But now my check engine light is on. And now that I know she was a spiteful person and she's moved, and that check engine light did not come on when um, I was driving. It came on after I was parked. It came on after the dog barked. I didn't hardly have anything to do with that woman. Yet, I wonder, did she or one of her members of her family do something in my car? But I can't fathom what I ever, I mean, I barely talked to them. I can't fathom what part of them would have wanted to harm me in that way. But you don't know. With spiteful people. Yeah. Hey, Marty. Yeah. Uh, what they might do. What? I'm talking to the camera. I don't know. Sometimes things are random and sometimes they're not. How do you know that there's not been a murder next door? I told him when about the sequence of events. The owner. Maybe he'll get to the bottom of it. Maybe he'll find out if that guy's alright. I've done my part. When I get my car looked at, I find out if it's something that happens naturally from just entropy. <laughs> or if it's something that looks like sabotage, the truth will come out. I may be shielded from the truth, though, like I was shielded from the truth of what kind of person she was and the conflicts that had happened before I moved here wasn't shielded from the uh, street shooting that happened. But there's a lot. When you move, there's a lot you don't know about the new place. 
about the neighbors. There would have been nothing on record that would have um, told me about the conflict between these two ladies and these two houses or about the boyfriend. None of this would have been on public record. Sometimes things aren't predictable and it doesn't make this street a bad street to live on. It's just like any street in any town, in any city. Um, humans live there. People have conflicts. Innocent people have nothing to do with those conflicts can get hurt. You know, the guy next door, he's got all these conflicts in his own head. He thought that night that people were after him, trying to kill him, and there was no such thing going on. How do you know? don't. I trust in God to protect me and Marty and my family that lives across town. Not that far across town, but still not in this neighborhood. And uh, I guess we all just need to pray. Every time I uh, as for prayer, I ask for healing and protection. And I feel like God has protected me. And I feel more protected now that those people are gone. And they have no reason to come down this street again. I know the property owner doesn't want them over there anymore. And if they're on the street, why are they on the street? So I know to be guarded against them now. I'll pray for them. I'll pray for their souls. I told the property owner that I invited them to church and they told me they were Presbyterian. And he's like, oh no, she's pure evil. So God knows what happened. What what kind of state the property was left in, or how she uh, left things for him. And he's a great guy, too. I won't mention his name, but he's a musician, and he's uh, lived in Germany for quite some time. He used to be really, really famous. He's, he's like, no, I'm not really famous anymore. I got a band, and we travel. But, you know, it sounds like, you know, it's wound down a little bit. But he still lives in Germany and has to bother with being over here to take care of this property. And uh, I can't imagine. I had a cousin that took care of a property from Florida to West Virginia. I don't know what a pain it was for him and his wife. Now his wife's gone. It has to be a royal pain to maintain it. And to, you know, get your rent and all of that. From Florida to West Virginia, I can't imagine having to come back, fly back from Germany to handle stuff like that. And uh, he knew the family well before he rented to them. It wasn't like he rented to strangers. Either so uh, that's got to be disheartening. Um, but I can't sleep, and uh, <clears throat> if y'all want to make a comment about. Whether I should be uh, worried or whether, well, actually, I know I shouldn't be worried because, number one, God's got this. And number two, they're gone. 
find his tope, but they haven't damaged uh, my car or me in some way. Or the, the guy is alive and well and away from the woman uh, who uh, she's not really a Presbyterian, <laughs> not really Christian. And um, just, uh, I don't get it. But maybe if I did, I'd be worse off. Have a wonderful and blessed day, everyone.